We're hearing this morning from the man who pulled the coronavirus prank on that WestJet flight from Toronto to Jamaica. Everyone talking about that story this week, how the plan was forced to turn around and more than 200 people have to put off the start of their vacations after the man stood up and announced mid-flight he'd just come back from China and he wasn't feeling well. Well, he's been charged with mischief and now he's speaking out and apologizing as he told our Farah Morali. This video, posted on a Toronto social media site, shows James Potok being escorted off a plane while being jeered by passengers. Oh, they got you on camera too. You're a clown, man. Can I have your attention? It's the aftermath, what Potok says was supposed to be a joke. I stood up, I said, I just returned from a flight from Hunan province. Um, I might have said, this is the capital for coronavirus. And then I said, I don't feel too well. What made you want to do that? Well, it was, uh, it was really just to create a, a viral video. That was a good one, buddy! The WestJet pilot didn't find the joke funny. The crew segregated him as a precaution, a and the plane was turned around. 240 passengers, who were supposed to end their day in Jamaica, ended it here instead, at Toronto's Pearson International Airport. This is, you know, time that we've allotted to enjoy, and now we're back in Toronto. We were all very frustrated. It's just so selfish. Why would you think that would be funny to, to make a video like this? I guess it was a shock and awe type of thing. Um, you know, being able to think about it after, it's, it's definitely something that's not joked about. Once I found out that they were turning the plane around is when I felt the remorse, I felt guilty. So now I'm thinking to myself, well, I, I think I just ruined 250 other people's travelers' plans. So that, you know, that, that hit me. That bothered me. If you had a message for those people, what would that be? I am extremely sorry. Um, I'm completely remorseful to everybody that I, I damaged their plans. That wasn't the only flight that had to be cancelled because of this prank. The trip from Montego Bay back to Toronto, the same plane was supposed to take, was also scraps. We reached out to WestJet to see if it planned to take action. It would only say the matter is now before the courts. Farah Morali, CBC News, Toronto. You heard James Potok tell uh, Farah in the course of their conversation that he'd been on a flight. He'd been recently in China's Hunan province. Well, of course, the epicenter of the outbreak is the city of Wuhan, which is in Hubei province. So just perhaps conflating the two, but we just want to sort it out for you. Uh, not, in fact, the right location mentioned there.